Good morning, Emperor Eagles. Happy Thursday. We're almost through Read Across America Week, and we know how much I love it. Today is just what job you want to have in the future, what occupation, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I saw a lot of amazing outfits. I saw teachers and school counselors, nurses and doctors. I saw construction workers, linemen. I saw amazing things. And just remember, whatever you choose, and you don't have to choose right now, I just hope you choose something that makes you happy, because in the end, that's what matters. And I am so happy to be your principals. Thank you for giving me that chance. Something very cool happened and um, a note was left on my desk with a book. And so I'm gonna read you the note. Dear Mr. Dell, my book buddy and I read this book and we think you should read it to us in the videos. It's great for March since it's Women's Month. Thank you. And the student left their name. I don't wanna put the name out there in case they don't want to be public, but I'm so grateful that they took that opportunity. One, that you're reading at Buddy's time because I love Buddies and I love that you're reading books. And two, that they took the chance to put this book on my desk in hopes that I would read it to you guys. And I am. So I think it's a great time to read it. And I'm so very proud of you for sharing this idea with me. The book is called The Proudest Blue. And here is the author. I don't wanna mess up her name, but you can see it there. I don't wanna be disrespectful. And so the author is, I'm sorry, the publisher is Little Brown and Company. Mama holds out the pink, mama loves pink, but Asia shakes her head, I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky, it's the first day of hijab. Asia knows it, I know it, we're sisters. The next day I wait. A new backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special, I feel like twirling. Asia comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too, but even princesses have to stop and cross the street. Asia takes my hand in hers and says, come on, Faiza. We speed walk it, 14 steps, 14 light ups to get across. Asia takes me to my first line, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to see the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. It's my first, my first day hijab is going to be blue too. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers, a scarf I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper comes out. I try again louder now. A scarf, a hijab. Oh, she whispers. Aza's hijab isn't a whisper. Aza's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing a hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see Asia. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza, Asia's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited, I ask, about the first day hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asia. Why? Aza's hijab isn't a laugh. Aza's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said, but if you understand who you are one day, they will too. In class, I draw a picture, two princesses in a hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it's so loud the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asia drew a picture too. Recess time is five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asia and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm gonna pull that tablecloth off your head. Asia's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asia's hijab is blue, only blue. Asia turns away, her friends turn away. The race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding on the pavement playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. Drop them, they are not yours to keep. They only belong to those who said them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts, but I only see Asia waiting for me like a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road, hand in hand. I cannot wait to get home to show mama the picture I drew, to show Asia that I'm wearing this, the same hijab in it. 
because Asia's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them, saying hello with a loud wave, saying I'll always be here like sisters like me and Asia. That is an amazing story. And I love the part of saying that the words that are hurtful belong to the person that said them. They don't belong to you, so don't let them hurt you. That is an amazing story for Women's History Month. Thank you so very much for sharing it with me and for sharing it with your buddy, especially. The only way we can make changes is to teach others and to make sure that everybody understands people's other cultures and learns about them. And this was a great opportunity. So thank you so very much. What a good opportunity during Read Across America Week. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget Eagle Spirit Day tomorrow. So I cannot wait to see your Eagle Spirit wear. And it's going to be a Friday very, very soon. Hope you always remember to be a leader. Make sure you wash your hands and always know that you are loved. I love you. Have a great day.